Alright, today we're going to be looking at how to get better skies in Unreal as just like a quick tutorial. Um, so, we're using Unreal 5, but this works in Unreal 4 as well. Uh, so, to start with, uh, you want a plugin, you want the Volumetrics plugin. So, if you search Volumetrics, we want this enabled. Uh, we also want in our project settings uh, down in rendering, make sure that the in shader permutation that the support sky atmosphere affecting height fog is also turned on. Alrighty, then once you've done that, uh, what you want to do is, I'm just going to create a landscape, there we go. Uh, what you want to do is go to the create panel and we want to so we want to add a directional light in like so. We want to add a skylight in like so. Uh, atmospheric fog atmospheric uh, sorry sky atmosphere not atmospheric fog my bad so sky atmosphere and a exponential height fog like so uh, oh, and a clouds volumetric cloud like that alright so now what we want to do is in the skylight we want to turn on real-time capture as well as turn on uh, cloud ambient occlusion uh, for the sky, for the directional light, what we want to do is enable atmospheric light. So if we type in atmosphere and atmosphere sunlight, if we click that, that'll line up the atmosphere correctly. Already, uh, cast cloud shadows. We can also enable that one, cast cloud shadows, that'll like make the clouds shadow the environment. Uh, in the exponential height fog, uh, we want to go ahead and turn on volumetric fog and turn the albedo to black. We also want to change the in scattering color to black and the directional in scattering to black. Um, this will basically mean it simply gets its uh, color from the skylight, uh, from, from the uh, atmosphere instead. Um, oh, we need to change the skylight to movable. That's all good. Alrighty, so next what we're going to do is we want volumetric clouds. So by default, the material for the volumetric clouds is a bit meh, um, to be honest. It's a bit lacking and they look a bit ugly in my opinion. Uh, so we're gonna get a better one. So if you go ahead to your content browser and make sure in settings you've enabled show engine content and show plugin content, then what we can do is we can scroll all the way to the bottom in this little side panel and there's this thing called volumetrics content. Uh, so if we go into content, then sky, then materials, uh, we actually have some pre-made cloud materials that are a lot better than the default one the clouds have. Now, I recommend using the uh, this one, the Clouds Profile Paint Morning, just here. Uh, so what you can do is you can drag and drop that into your content folder here, and then just click Copy here. And that'll put a copy of that in your content browser, so here we go. Uh, and then we just need to replace the existing clouds with that one instead. And we've got like dark stormy night. That looks cool, but that's not what I want. Uh, let's try and fiddle with some settings. Um, try and get some nice results. What if we just switch these back to default? There we go. Um, one thing I recommend changing as well is the speed because that's going to go really quick. But you can go through and fiddle with, you've got, as you can see there, a lot more settings to change now. Uh, and I believe that just creates much nicer looking clouds. So now if we hold Control and L, we'll notice that we should actually get much nicer looking results out of our clouds and our sky. I think that looks very beautiful. As the, the sun goes up and down, oh, a darkness. So we get this like nice golden hour look, and we've got like some light shafts as well coming through. We could probably exaggerate the light shafts a bit if we enable them. Light shaft occlusion and bloom, maybe too much. I think 
think that's too much balloon. Uh, 0 0.01. Maybe. Uh, where even was? Ah, 0 0.05. Mm, there we go. And so now we have this like nice, we can get some nice, beautiful golden hour shots or just like nice clouds in general. Uh, sort of a nice, nice look in general from our sun and from our sky. And I think that looks so much better than sort of the default sky. So there's a nice handy little tip for you. I don't think I have missed anything. Von Trick. No. No, I think that's about it. Yep. So, there you go. Hopefully that was useful. I uh, expect to see much nicer skies in some people's projects now. Because <coughs> I know not everyone has been... I have seen some very dodgy looking skies, but uh, yeah, Unreal basically like hands you good lighting, so I, I sort of never understood why people end up with such terrible looking uh, sort of lighting in their projects, because Unreal basically hands you a nice setup like this. So there you go, hopefully that was useful, uh, and I will, yeah, 